to building a modern economy for New Zealand. Question number four, Tamati Coffey. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, what reports has he seen on the economy? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Grant Robertson. Mr Speaker, today the Reserve Bank released its August monetary, monetary policy statement and its official cash rate decision. This will be beneficial for members. With the OCR left on hold at 1.75 per cent. The NPS forecasts that the slowdown in G GDP growth, which began at the start of 2016, should turn around from the June quarter this year, with GDP growth of 3.2 per cent forecast in the year to June 2019. The Reserve Bank notes that over the medium term, growth is expected to be supported by fiscal policy, export growth and supportive monetary policy settings, and that GDP growth should average a little above 3 per cent over the next three years. Very good. Supplementary. Uh, what did the Reserve Bank say in the monetary policy statement about recent and future growth trends? Uh, the Reserve Bank said that growth in the March quarter had been softer in services, construction and primary production, the latter being due to weather-related events and the effects of Mycoplasma bovis. It noted recent weakness in business confidence surveys and weaker than expected house price inflation. However, the NPS shows that the Reserve Bank expects growth to pick up over the rest of 2018 and for medium-term growth of about 3 per cent a year to be supported by monetary policy, fiscal policy, business investment and net exports. Supplementary. What risks did the Reserve Bank highlight in the monetary policy statement? Well, Mr Speaker, it always pays to keep an eye on these risks, and the Reserve Bank said that while there is still a positive global economic environment, Downside risks to the global out outlook had increased since May, in particular due to trade tensions overseas. The Reserve Bank also noted that there is a potential for low business confidence to feed through into firms delaying investment. However, they said the outlook for business investment is positive, in part due to low interest rates continuing to support greater investment. Question number five, Chris Bishop. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker, to the Minister of Police. Does he stand by?